Hello, and welcome to the Avastar 1.5 update. In this video we demonstrate what the new Avastar will bring to your desk. So, in this release we mostly focused on usability improvements of the add-on. The most apparent change on the Avastar rig is, the origin now keeps at its original location, regardless of the slider values. Up till now the origin was moving along the z-axis according to the total length of the character. This no longer happens. The next change is in the Avastar slider section, precisely in the display of the slider type. In previous releases we used a stickman icon to indicate bone length changing sliders. We have changed this icon from a stickman to a bone. Furthermore, when the rigging style is set to fitted mesh, then we now also display a magnet icon to indicate sliders that affect the fitted mesh bones. And besides of this, we have added the new slider category, fitted. Here, you find all fitted mesh sliders. Now let's turn our attention to custom meshes. When you work with characters which are made of multiple mesh objects, then setting the sliders for the entire character was a bit cumbersome, and you could easily forget to attach some parts of the character. Because of this, we have added the option to set the sliders for the entire rig. So, if you first select the rig, and then set the slider type, you can be sure that all your custom objects will behave in the same way when you use the sliders. When you look at the Adjust Weight Groups panel, you no longer find the function, Move, which was supposed to move weights between fitted mesh bones and regular bones. We have split up this function into the functions, Convert to Fitted, and Convert to Classic. We also improved the conversion of characters and attachments from foreign rigs to Avastar, and vice versa. And for this purpose we have added the neutral shape. If you already have worked with the Avatar Workbench, or with the official Avatar rig from Linden Lab, or if you normally work with other modeling tools, in all these cases you have already used this shape. I will show you now how to use this new shape to convert any mesh, either from Avastar back to a foreign rig, or from the foreign rig to Avastar. So, here is a default Avastar character, and this dress is attached to the Avastar rig. Let's assume that you need to convert the dress to the rig of the Avatar workbench, although I do not know why you ever would want to do that. But anyways, I will prove now, that we indeed can convert meshes in either direction, and here is how it goes. First, you select the Avastar rig. Then you enable the second life appearance sliders for the entire rig. You find this button in the skinning section of the tool shelf. Now switch from the default shape to the neutral shape. You now see how the upper body of the Avastar changes. Let me switch backward and forward between the two shapes, so you can see the difference. Here is the Avastar default shape. And here the neutral shape. OK, so as soon as the neutral shape is selected, you freeze your dress as a static mesh. But please take care to keep the weight maps while you freeze the mesh. And finally, delete the Avastar. You can do this best from within the Outliner, where you can delete the entire object hierarchy with a few clicks. Select the Avastar. Then go to the Outliner, and right-click on the armature. Finally call the Delete Hierarchy function. Now only the dress remains in the viewport, and this dress will work nicely in the Avatar workbench. OK. So let's proof this by first storing the blend file. Then open a new workbench file. And finally append the dress to the workbench. As a side note, with the append function you include objects from other blend files. If you are in doubt how this works, then please look up the functionality in the Blender documentation. Okay, 
the dress is not oriented correctly, this is because the workbench rig is rotated by 90 degrees around the z-axis. So let's fix that. And, now the mesh fits exactly to the workbench rig. So we are ready to bind the dress to the rig. And since we are now using the workbench, we now also have to use the bind tools from Blender. Now let's see how we get this workbench dress back into Avista. So, select the workbench rig. Then in the tool shelf locate the Avista vertical tab. And there, locate the rig transfer tool. Here you just convert to Avista rig. However, you see after the conversion the dress is not rotated as intended. For this we have the option, apply rotation. You find this option within the operator panel at the bottom of the tool shelf. And now we are back at the same point where we started our travel from Avasta to the workbench and back to Avasta. So, mischief accomplished, thus let's now move to the next topic. The next big change is in the Avasta main panel. This panel now allows to check the availability of new updates at any time. You also can download an update from here, and finally install and activate it. And this is done right in Blender, without the need to move to a web browser. So, right after startup, the download status is set to unknown, as indicated in the panel. But you always can check if an update is available. However, the actual download works only, if you also have created an account on our website. In that case, you just need to log on. Then you get access to the new release. Next, you get informed from which server the download will be retrieved. Here you also see the owner and purchase ID of your product. Now you can start the download of your update. But beware, this step can take a while, depending on the speed of your internet connection. And note that Blender gets frozen, while the download runs. When the download finally succeeded, you are ready to install your new release. And in the final step, you get asked to reload to activate your add-on. And when you finally press the reload button, then your add-on will be reloaded. And now your update is ready for use in Blender. Of course this panel will only become useful when we release future updates. But you already can see, how much easier it will become to keep up to date with the product. Please let me give you a final hint how you can help us a bit. Whenever you find something that seems to be broken, or that works differently from how it was explained in the documentation, then please report this to us. Your report will help us to improve the Avastar much faster. And you will certainly benefit from any improvements as well.